Hello all. In this video, we will see how to connect multiple mode bus sensors like NPK and SHT20 to or directly to DMG48270, the cheapest DWIN display. No need of uh, ESP32 or Arduino or any microcontroller. We can directly connect this to uh, mod bus and the sensors must be of mod bus type. We have two such uh, sensors here. One is XYMD02, which is built on SHT20 and this is Modbus enabled and uh, humidity and temperature. And the other one is NPK 7-in-1, 7-in-1 RS485 sensor, soil sensor to get NPK and other values of soil. It has got four OS, two for RS485 and two for supply. And the display we are using here is 48270 C043 15W2R, the cheapest uh, display in the market dwin display and it is 485 enabled and uh, let us see how to enable this 485 and then uh, provide the instruction this is the connection connections of the dmg uh, 48270 dwin display and it has got uh, we are not going to use the rs232 we are going to use only the rs485 and we'll be using this rs485 to usb device like this uh, to connect this sensors directly to pc and then read the registers initially so that we can later generate the instructions first let us connect the xymd02 directly to the rs485 to usb this device has got uh, supply pins 5 volt ground but uh, you need not provide supply pins only a and b a to a and b to b connection the connection must not be reverse it is a to a and b to b and let us provide 12 volt supply to this xymd02 uh, humidity temperature sensor and plug in the rs485 to usb to pc and note on the com port allotted and open the q mode master we will be using q mode master to read the registers and in this options settings you set the base address as zero and uh, ndns big that is high byte first and again options are to you the baud rate must be 9600 and then the serial port should be of that of the usb modbus uh, rs485 to usb device slave address is one and then we are using the function code 0x04 as per the data sheet of xymd02 0x04 is used to read the input registers and the hex address or 0001 for temperature 0002 for humidity and then uh, there is a function code 0003 that is for uh, reading the holding or keep registers first let us uh, uh, use the function code 0004 start address is uh, 1 that is 0001 number of registers 2 as it is contiguous 2 and then read write Click on read write, you will get the temperature and humidity value. You have to divide by 10 as per the data sheet. This is read input registers, the actual value. Now let us see the command 0x03 to read the keeping or holding registers to note the uh, slave address and board rate. You have to change the slave address so that uh, it will not conflict with the NPK sensor. The address is 0x101 and the command is 0x03 as per the data sheet uh, it is at uh, 0x101 and we will be using to change the uh, uh, that is to write multiple key bridges we will be using 0x10 command and the address is 101 so it will be 1 and 9600 default let us make it as 2 and 9600 slave address let us make it as 2 and then click on read write it will change the slave address will change to 2 you can confirm with the commands 0x03 now this uh, xymd02 is at slave address 2 this uh, npk sensor is slave address 1 now let us uh, check the uh, npk sensor by connecting it to rs485 to usb the uh, a wire a wire is yellow and b is blue wire do not change it it is modbus wire and plug the uh, sensor to the soil note down the com port open the q mod master setting is uh, big indian and uh, base address is zero board rate is the uh, board rate is 9600 8 10 1 
and uh, as per the data sheet we will be using uh, read holding register 0x03 the previous sensor we used 04 now we have to use 0x03 and it is related to the hex address 1E1F20 of the sensor where uh, NPK values are found if you provide the start address uh, at the other addresses 06 is for pH, 12 for moisture, 13 for temperature and 15 is for EC conductivity. If you use the read holding registers and then the hex address related to the uh, functions, you will get all the values. And as per the data sheet, you have to divide by 100 or 10 uh, for pH and other temperature values that you have to check the uh, data sheet. So NPK sensor, we get the data and uh, we have three background images of resolution 480 by 270. The first page we have uh, we have to display NPK values. And the second page, the other four values of the soil. Third page for the MD02 module. The, in page 0, NPK values, we assign VP address 1000 for N, 1001 for P and 1002 for K potassium. So against this VP address only, we will be sending data from the sensor. Uh, and finally, in 22.bin file, we will relate it to the hex address 1E, 1F and 20 of the uh, register value, register location. In the page 1, the pH value, VP address, let us uh, assign it as 1010, temperature 1020, moisture 1030, EC 1040. This is user defined, you can give any values below 5000. So, note down this uh, VP address. Against this VP address, we have to uh, relate it to the hex address where the uh, sensor has got the value in the registers. So, this is the register address 06, 13, 12, and 15 for the pH, temperature, moisture, and EC. So, this is in page 1. Note down all the VP address. In the page 2, we have got the, for the slave address 2, we have got the 1080 VP, that is for uh, temperature and 1090, 0002 humidity. That is not of the soil, and that, is, uh, that is for the second sensor. So inside the dvin underscore set folder, we have to uh, in, uh, copy and paste the dot .hzk font file and then the T5L 9600. This is the Modbus Master OS file that uh, from the official website. Go to this location and download the Modbus Master OS and then unzip it. You will uh, find four files and select the correct file. We use 9600 baud rate and you are 4. That is the uh, that is where we are going to enable the RS485 in the DMG DWIN display. So select the correct file 9600 UART4 Modbus Master, unzip it and inside that you will find one bin file. Copy this bin file and paste it inside the DWIN underscore set folder. And uh, regarding this DMG48270 uh, uh, DWIN display, the background images should be generated for 23.ICL. In other versions, it is 32.ICL, but in this model, as it is 8 mega 8 MB flash model, it should be 23.ICL. And you have to edit the CFG file also. Inside the CFG file, you have to change the uh, ICL address from 32 to 23 and then generate new CFG. Save it as T-file CFG.CFG inside the DWIN underscore set folder. Now copy this DWIN underscore set folder and paste it inside your SD card folder. Open this DWIN underscore set folder. You will find the uh, bin uh, that is config file. This config file you have to modify according to the page address that is a VP address. We will edit this 22.bin file using PSPAD editor. You have to download and install. Open the PSPAD editor, uh, the 22.bin file. Go to the location 0x1c000. Here is where we are going to provide the instructions. That is the Modbus instructions. Here this VP address and the uh, register address plays very important role. Starting is 5a 
and then 0 1 0 1 means slave address of the npk is 0 1 next is the uh, command that is the 0 3 command function code read holding registers and number of registers go, we are going to read is 0 3 5 0 is the timeout in millisecond and 0 1 is the mode if you are using 0 1 after this you have to provide the page number page number is page 0 which is 0 0 0 0 that is a page 0 we are going to uh, display the npk values and the starting vp address is 1 0 0 0 that is a n value vp address after that 0 0 1 e is the uh, register address of the n value of the npk sensor so this is the uh, command the instruction command you have to save it and then remove the sd card now we have connected only the npk sensor to the rs485 bus of the uh, dwin display directly no microcontroller in between provide the supply after inserting the sd card now you will see the download blue screen all the files have been downloaded remove the power remove the sd card and then power it again now you can see the uh, project uh, if you if you do not see the values check the connections it should be a to a and b to b it should not be reverse the yellow wire is a here and the blue wire is b connect direct a to a and b to b now you will get the values npk values nitrogen phosphorus and potassium values directly on the first screen on the second screen and the third screen we are not at provided instructions so we are not getting any values now let us connect the uh, uh, xy mod 2 to the rs485 bus and then already npk sensor is connected here and now we will edit the 22.bin file already this bin file has been edited for page 0 that is for displaying npk values now we are going to edit the 22.bin file using pspad editor at 0x uh, starting from 0x 1c 000 after the, at 1c 000 we have provided the first injection and in the next line we will provide the next instruction for page 1 and page 2 for page 1 the ph value uh, that is a uh, uh, vp address is 1010 and moisture is at 1030 temperature 1020 conductivity 1040 you have to note on this uh, vp address and then the corresponding hex address also you have to note down in page 2 we have this uh, 1080 and 1090 vp and the uh, hex is from the data sheet you have to note down now let us write the second instruction starting is 5a 01 is the slave address the second mod bus instruction 5a 01 after that 03 is the function code 01 is the number of registers to read 50 is the timeout in millisecond 01 is the mode 01 means after that you have to provide the page id page 1 means 0001 so you have to re, uh, note down from which page you want to enter on which page you want to enter 0001 after that is the vp address which is 1010 for ph and hex address from where to read that is 0006 as per the soil moisture sensor at 0006 we have the ph value so this is the second instruction and the third instruction that is for soil moisture according to the list of this vp address and uh, the hex address you have to generate the uh, instructions that is a mode bus instructions the third instruction 5a01 after that it is uh, 03 is the function code 01 is the number of registers to read 5001 0001 is the page id 1030 is the VP address and the corresponding X address from where to read is 0012. And the fourth value, fourth instruction that is for humidity, uh, that is the uh, VP address is 1020 and the hex address is 0013. And for EC, the VP address is 0015, the VP address is 1040 and the hex address is 0015. So this is how to generate the instructions. And finally, for the page 2, for uh, XYMD02, 
we are using 5A02. So we have changed the slave address of this uh, uh, device to 02. So we have to read uh, instruction is 5A02 and the function code is 04. The previous uh, sensor it is 03, now it is 04. Number of registers to read 0150 is the timeout and 01 is the mode and the page is 0002 and then the VP address 1080 and uh, hex address is 0001 and the final uh, instruction the VP address is 1090 for uh, humidity and hex address is 0002 so these are all the instructions we generate according to the VP and the hex address that is we read from the hex address of the sensors and uh, display it at the VP address of the uh, DWIN display that is the basic principle and uh, this is the these are the all mode bus instructions we are modifying in uh, bin file 22.bin file which has to be modified only in the SD card and not in the project so save this file and then uh, copy this uh, dwin underscore set folder and uh, load it inside the display switch off the power provide the uh, there is a plug in the sd card and then provide the supply again after the blue screen this uh, uh, you will see the project now we are connected md02 as well as the npk sensor both to the rs485 bus the first phase we get npk values the second page that is a page one we get ph temperature moisture you can see the ph value it has to be divided by 100 we have provided only one digital uh, position let us change it after completing this and page uh, 2 we get the md02 values that uh, temperature and the humidity of the uh, uh, surrounding environment and not of the soil so on touch screen you can uh, navigate to 0 1 and 2 page now let us change the ph uh, uh, decimal values digits to 2 in the dga software and then save it and finally generate it and uh, copy the divin underscore set folder paste it to the sd card the config.bin file should be kept separately and not in the project after this uh, you save this uh, config file also and then load it to the divin display using sd card method now you can see the first page uh, that is page 0 npk value page 1 ph you can see the correct values uh, correct decimals two digits and then temperature moisture ec and in page 2 we get the values of the uh, that is a, a second md02 sensor so both modbus sensors are connected directly to dwin display and uh, we display the values thank you for watching